What's up, guys? <clears throat> Derek back again. Another vid. Just got out of work. Just decompressing. Wanted to come at you guys with a vid. It's my boy Adam, as you guys have already met. Uh, yeah, this one kind of just is going to be like a free flowing vid. Uh, just talking to you guys a little bit about talking to you guys a little bit about um, some of our plans for the future, some of our plans for uh, what we have in store right now, what we're doing with the channel. And with merch, we just dropped our store. Uh, the website will be linked below in the description. Definitely check out our products and clothing. It's, uh, it's all fire. And, you know, I know I wanted this vid to be about, um, you know, how to handle stress and when how to handle adversity. When things come up, um, you know, especially if you're going through you know, an awakening type of experience where you're getting into your spiritual life, you're questioning your beliefs, you're questioning your path, your pursuit, you're questioning like what are you like what you're doing in life. It could be a very very stressful situation, especially if you have an ego death and your ego dies and you lose your sense of self. You're kind of left as dust in the wind. And you don't really know who you are and it's kind of like this process of rebuilding your identity so you can become uh the person that you're meant to be <coughs> in this life and the transformation that consciousness and the body and the mind go through all together so adam what do you think of that you know, a great way to deal with stress is to just get active and go outside and get into nature do stuff that you love doing and makes you feel like yourself so uh, one thing i do is play basketball that helps me tremendously playing basketball with the boys playing basketball by myself doesn't matter as long as i can get out there and get out of my head and just doing something that's productive and active that de-stresses me a lot another thing is meditation meditation is a great way to de-stress just sitting with yourself sitting with your thoughts just laying there clearing your mind, watching your thoughts go, and just being is just an amazing way to handle the stress. So what do you think about that? I think that's facts. <clears throat> I think that's all facts. I think, you know, you want to be as productive as you can be, and you want to be as efficient as you can be, but you don't want to have burnout. Like You don't want to burn yourself out. You don't want to be stressed with too much to do, too little time. You want to evenly spread out your work and evenly spread out your goals and your obligations over the day and over the week and do it so you can flow through everything and it's a very flowy easy going process and you know for me how i like to de-stress is uh, i write music i play piano i've been playing piano all my life and for me music is a way to get into a different state of mind a different uh brainwave state and you're able to get creative and just focus on something else. And also, like Adam said, basketball is huge. So, like, I've play, been playing basketball my whole life and playing basketball with the boys, getting a game in, just playing by myself, you know, going for a run, too, running, especially outside in nature. If you can find a good nature spot to go for a little run, just de-stresses the mind. And it was... Um, you know, it was within my most stressful situations that I realized what not to do. You know what I mean? I realized what not to do in those stressful situations. So, you know, you want to be productive. You want to be uh, productive in a non-stressful way. And you want to grow whatever it is that you're working on. And you want to be a productive human being. You want to be a man or a woman of value and add something to the world. And you can't do that if you're stressed out. You know, you got to... You got to put God first. You got to put your spiritual life first. You got to meditate. You got to pray. You got to start getting in nature, walking barefoot on grass. Um, you know, grounded. stay grounded. You got to stay grounded, you know, especially when you start getting into the higher frequencies of life. You got to also have a foot in the 3D realm. So you got to stay grounded. And uh, fuck, what was I going to say? I was going to say something. Um... Yeah, I, I got it. Um, keep your 
your impulses in check. So keep your appetite in check. Um, keep, you know, your, you know, your sexual impulses, your sexual, you know, charges. You know, you have to have a handle on all those primal animalistic instincts, you know, and that's why I practice no fat and I eat a very clean alkaline based diet and it's very good at raising your vibration. And uh, I'll, I'll throw it over to Adam. Make what is, video? yeah. Or I'll leave. Don't worry about it, bro, you're good. Uh, what do you, Adam, what do you think of some high vibrational habits? Um, a great thing, this should be on everyone's list is getting some sun. The sun is a great source of energy, vitamin, vitamin, vitamin D, D and it just connects you more to the earth and connects you more to the universe. And I know this might sound crazy, but looking into the sun, looking not staring directly at the sun, but like looking at the sunset or looking at the sunrise, staring and getting the bright sun rays, sun gazing, yeah. sun gazing that's an amazing way to boost your spiritual and just clear your mind. Do that while meditating also. You don't have to stare at the sun, just you can close your eyes and let the rays hit you. Even just make sure you get some sun. It, it, don't, it doesn't matter if it's 10 minutes, start off with 10 minutes a day and go up as you, as you get better at it and get better at it. It works tremendously. It helps with everything. Like it, yeah, it's, huge. it's huge for real. So getting into the sun, meditating, Going to going out to the well, we live close to the beach, so going out to the beach, getting some nature, yeah, getting some, getting some of Go, that, going in the water, going in the water, going in the salt water really clears your, clears out your system and it helps get the like, if you have like mucus and stuff, it helps get that out, it helps get out it toxins, you out. it clears out your, yeah. your body, so you your mind gets clear when your body is healthier, yeah. So, eating healthy is also number one. Like, yeah, you gotta, the fuel that you put into your body is what you're gonna get out. So, if you put in a bunch of bullshit into your body, you're not gonna get back good. You're gonna get back bullshit. If you put in a bunch of good, like plants alive, plants that are alive, you're gonna get back good. So, dead animals and all that shit is not gonna bring up your vibration. That shit's just gonna keep you at a low state so yeah yeah no that's that's a fact i mean like i'm not i'm not vegan but i try to i try to minimize how much you know dead animals and, and beef and stuff like that that i'm eating processed foods uh like adam said it's important to have a lot of vegetables a lot of watery greens you know clean alkaline based fruits and veggies um, green powders, superfood mixes, you know, like all that shit. That, that's, that's what will raise your vibration from the make inside sure, out. Make sure you're drinking a lot of water too. Water yeah. is the best thing. Like, water is such a gift put on this planet that people take you gotta for be, You gotta be drinking at least a gallon a day. And I'm telling you guys this while I'm smoking a cigarette because this is my Achilles heel. So I'm trying to quit. <laughs> <laughs> but... Besides the fact I try to be healthy and I try to stay stay tapped in, stay in tune, uh, you know, with the vibrations and the frequencies and the harmonies of life. Um, and, and yeah, I mean, like you, you know, consciousness is infinite. So like the more you improve your body and mind, you're gonna realize that there's no cap on how much you can improve yourself. There's no finish line. You know what I mean? There's this. There's no finish line to self-improvement, to spiritual growth. It's an, everlasting, it's an journey. everlasting journey until the day that the body and the mind die. So it doesn't end. And you want, the reason why you want the body and the mind to improve and you want it to be at its highest caliber is so you can be productive and you can create something. Because you're a, this is a creative vehicle. It's a creative expression. You're, you're here so God, the universe can work through you and channel, channel a message, channel some sort of creative genius to be to be created with you that's why you were born so god danced the day you were born and you're here to fulfill his work 
and uh, and and be a creative machine. That's what humans do. We create things with our mind in fourth dimensional reality. We bring the fourth dimension into the third dimension and everything that we see around us, all the objects, all the inventions started up here. Like, you know what I mean? So everything starts within the mind. The power of the imagination is completely underrated. And I'm gonna be doing a book review for you guys after this. The Power of Imagination by Neville Goddard. You ever hear that book? We'll talk about it. I mean, it's an amazing book, it changed my life. Neville Goddard is an amazing uh, mystic and sage. He was a wise sage. And if you guys haven't heard of him, I highly recommend that you look him up. Uh, but regardless, this video was on how to be productive and live a stress-free life as well as uh, keep your vibration high. Adam, you have any last words? Just another thing, whenever you get stressed out, feel stressed, just remember that you're here and you're alive and this world is beautiful. And just, if you ever need a reminder, just go outside, talk to some people, get outside of your head, get into the world, and just remind yourself that you're here and you're alive. And, and you're not your mind. Yeah, you're not your thoughts. That's just a bunch of bullshit just trying to bring you down from the programming of this world. So just remember that you are here for a reason. You are here to bring light. You are here to spread love. And don't let that bullshit get to you. Yeah. Yeah, that's all fluff. That's all filter. That's just a bunch of bullshit that you don't have to let uh, let it get to you. So, But with that, this is Derek and Adam with The Journey Within. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.